Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip, and I'm going to tell you about this absolutely beautiful 2004 Lexus LS430. It's done just 87,000 kilometres since new, and 87,000 kilometres on a 12 to 13 year old car is not only low on any car, but it's very low on an LS430. The reason why I say that is a lot of people who buy LS430s generally do big kilometres. A lot of people who drive interstate on a regular basis buy the LS series. I actually had a LS400 a few years ago, which was a 98 model. I sold that four or five years ago now. And uh, I sold that car with 439,000 kilometres. I did a number of kilometres in the car, but when I bought it, it already had about 380,000 kilometres. It was owned by someone who was driving between Sydney and Newcastle three or four days a week. And you know when I sold that car with over 430,000 kilometres, it drove absolutely perfectly right down to the gearbox, the steering, the engine was silky smooth, you could balance a coin on, on the engine and, and rev it. They really are incredible cars. And to be able to find an update 430 with just 87,000 kilometres I think is a real find. Whether you want to buy this car and keep it for 5 years, 10 years, 20 years, it's completely up to you. There's some people who've bought other LS430s we've had even with 180,000 kilometres and they've suggested that, uh, you know, the, the car they're buying is, uh, you know, they're going to keep for 10 years. And depending on how much driving you're doing, um, 100,000 kilometres is a lot, especially if you're only doing 10 or 20,000 kilometres a year. It's got Pirelli tyres, it's got a tow bar fitted by Lexus, it's got this pinstriping around the car, which actually looks quite good, but if you do want to take it off, you can. The service history is excellent. The first few services, it did go to a Lexus dealer, and then after that, it's gone to a specialist. The good thing about the independent is that they've actually written down everything they've done, what they've changed, as opposed to just putting a stamp in the book, which is great. It's really nice to see what's being done. The LS430 also came with a cool box in the back. In here, heated seats, electric seats, it's got radio controls in the back. I mean, to get these features on a Mercedes, you'd have to buy a, a V12. You can see it's got the blinds in the back there. The wood grain is excellent. It's silver with light grey leather interior. And it's just been very well cared for. Even though it was complied in February 2004, it has Bluetooth. Would have been one of the first cars in the world, I would say, to have Bluetooth. It's got memory, electric driver's seat, reverse camera, navigation, cruise control, distance, radar cruise control. Again, it was one of the first cars in the world to have distance cruise control. Now, what distance cruise control is, it means that the car will automatically brake. So if you set the cruise control to 110, someone pulls in front of you or slams their foot on the brake, the car will stop by itself. And the sensor's just down on the bumper there. Obviously it's got Xenon lights. A lot of the features on these cars were standard. Keyless entry, keyless start. Again, you probably could get distance cruise control on a Mercedes. Benz at the time, but you'd have to spend three or four hundred thousand dollars. What I love about these Lexus is people often ring up and say, Oh, does the sunroof work? Does the soft closed doors work? The answer is always yes, it's a Lexus. And what's great about these is you've got all the comfort of a 7 Series or an S Class, if not more, with absolute reliability. 
And that's the biggest issue, especially if you're coming of age, you're retired or you're retiring in the next couple of years. You don't want to buy a nice car and then get a shock with a two, three, four, five, six, ten thousand dollar service, whatever it might be. And that's why a lot of people are getting into these LS series. Go online, have a look. I'm sure you'll see LS 400s with 600,000 kilometres. I'm sure you'll see other LS 430s advertised with two, three, four hundred thousand kilometres. Which is why I was saying 87,000 kilometres is very low on an LS. But it's been well cared for, it's a good colour, it's an update. Now I keep talking about updates because update I think is very important. The 2002 or should I say the 00, 01, 02, and I think 03 LS430, despite having the same badge, was a very different car. It had different wheels, brakes, didn't have distance cruise control, and basically just looked a lot older. Although there's only a year apart and they are a similar shape, they're very different cars. So if you look online and you see an 02 and 03 model for half the price, that's why. And for me personally, I think this was one of the last of the best LS series. I like the shape, the wheels, the sound. I love everything about it. And for a car which cost about $200,000 new, I think is incredible value. And one of the reasons why I think it is such good value is not because you can buy it for under $30,000. It's because you can drive it for the next 10 years and not spend all your hard-earned money on servicing and fixing things that are broken. I've had other Lexuses as well, including the Lexus LX470. The last one I had had about 230,000 kilometres. I did have one in 2008, which I sold with about 410,000 kilometres. And even that drove perfectly. In fact, I think, yeah, it had about 430,000 kilometres. I went to get a pink slip at a garage I didn't know, and they just glanced at the speedo and they thought it had 43,000 kilometres. That's pretty impressive. If you've been looking for an LS 430 and you want to get a great car with under 100,000 kilometres, the good service history, two keys, good colour combination, this is it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video and I look forward to hearing from you. We're 20 minutes from Sydney Airport and our location is Maxwell. You can speak to Richard or Philip. Thanks again for watching.